I bought a new chainsaw. That would be the bar. It's kind of big. And this is the power head. So uh, this is an unboxing. This is a $450 saw off of eBay. And I'm not endorsing or advertising for eBay, but that's where I got it. It is a Chinese saw. It's a 105 cc's with a 42 inch bar. And we're gonna find out what to do. Because that just sounded like fun. And because I wanted a big saw that I could actually uh, maybe do some chainsaw milling with, because I got a big walnut log that I need to cut up. And it's too big for my mill. And it's such a nice log, I really didn't want to uh, cut it down into uh, uh, a small enough size to fit the mill. I'm done with that. Holy cow, that thing's heavy. Just the bar. Love it. Oh yeah. That's a weed whacker. <laughs> There you go. I do not even begin to pretend to know how to pronounce this, but I love the bat symbol. That's pretty cool. So, yeah. there's the bar. Let's see what's in this box. Look at that! Great big piece of styrofoam! Okay, kid. <laughs> yeah, don't even know how to pronounce that, but it sounds like fun. Well, the change just fell out of this box. That's a mess. Might take me a minute to get that straightened out. We'll lay that down here. Hey, it comes with a tool kit. What in the world is that for? I guess we'll find out. Okay, now the big thing. size saw. Oh, don't tell me it's a manual oiler. <laughs> well, okay, so I have no idea what some of these things are. Obviously, oh, there's a choke. You actually turn that to choke it. That's no, that can't be right. Ah, there it is. That's the joke. There's the on-off switch. Big old gas can't tank on it. Well, let's see if we can get this thing put together. That is 
not. That is a hard nose bar. I don't like hard nose bars. Probably be replacing that for long. I guess they've got their pluses, but I really like the sprocket end bars. The drive links fit that kind of tight. Okay, I'm going to be picky. I want the words to be right side up when the chainsaw is put together, so I have to put that on the other way. <laughs> there we go. Probably ought to have the gloves on. I'll it down. So. It's a little nose heavy. slot is not very deep and this screwdriver is way too narrow for it so we're going to make an adjustment to that real quick. Look at this, and it does not have an anti-kickback brake. That's a dangerous damn saw. And the blade tensioner is not convenient.
Yeah, this is a manual oil saw, so this little button right here is to oil the blade. So it's not like your modern still Husqvarna and whatnot. It's uh, like the old ones I had when I was a kid. At least it's in a convenient position you can get it. I wonder what the heck this is. Ah, that's the keeper for the carburetor cover, air filter. There we go. Felt filter. That's the air intake. Okay, now it makes sense. Not a bad design, just a design that I hadn't seen before. It's actually got a nice big intake right under here that goes up to the filter and uh, has to pass through the filter before it goes back down the car. And then this, I have no clue what that is. So I guess I'm actually going to read the instruction manual before I start messing with this monster because uh, it is a monster. And then we'll uh, put some gas and oil in it and fire it up and see what it does. This is a scary saw. A very scary saw. <laughs> Just out of curiosity though, there's a tape in here. Yeah, 40 and a half on the cut. And overall, it's 61 inches to the tip of the handle. Holy crap. <laughs> but like I said, I'm actually getting this to for chainsaw milling, not uh, <laughs> not cutting down trees. This is a bit more than I probably want to cut down trees with. Uh, but I do have some big chunks of uh, stump out there that I need to chop up for firewood so they're actually 38 and so inches in diameter so I can actually uh, use this to go through in one pass uh, and that's what we'll test it out on but first like I said let me uh, peruse the book I'm sure that'll be fun uh, translated books like these are often very difficult to read <laughs> I'll let you know and then uh, we'll get some gas and oil in it and take it out for a test drive So I read through the book, and uh, it's actually done in surprisingly good English. So I, I was pleased about that. It looks like they had good translators. Um, there is a whole lot of break-in stuff for this saw. Uh, the This is in addition to it doing automatic oiling. So it actually does run oil to the blade at all times, and then you can boost it, which is kind of a cool feature. Uh, this is a decompression valve. So when you're starting it, you actually hold this, and when it starts to start, you let off of it, it gives it full compression again. Uh, that little plastic thing is if you need to take the uh, clutch off, you take out the spark plug, and this goes in the spark plug hole, holds the piston while you take that off. So that was kind of interesting. It's the first time I bought a saw that had a tool like that with it. So actually, all in all, not a bad deal. I still don't like the uh, screw that is on the tensioner, the, the, the groove in it's real shallow. Um, and I was going to like put oil in it and put gas in it and take it out and fire it up and cut something and then try to have this video up tonight. Uh, unfortunately, there's a storm brewing and it's about to pour on us. So, uh, and they're saying it's gonna pour all the way into tomorrow. So uh, this is Angus. Say hello, Angus. Uh, anyway, uh, so I'm going to have to hold off on that and it'll be a few more days before I actually get this video up because of that. Uh, but I will get some pictures up to the Instagram. Make sure you check it out. And uh, we'll try not to cut the cat in half. <laughs> You're nosy. Alright guys, so uh, it'll be like just a split second for you. going to be overnight or a day for me until uh, I actually get to play with it. So, cool man. We'll see you then.
Well, here we go, guys. Uh, gonna test it out on that, which isn't quite as big as I was thinking it was because I've already split a bunch of them in half. So well, I'm gonna cut down through it and we'll see how it goes. Might be fun. I'm gonna reposition the camera you're seeing viewing me on now. I got another camera, so I'll try to get a couple different angles and we'll go from there. Yeehaw! He thinks the uh, centrifugal clutch needs some adjustment. That or it needs tuned up real bad. Supposedly the factory settings are needs where it needs to be for its uh, break-in period, which is three tanks of gas. But it doesn't even have enough power to pull the chain through this thing. It is Elm, but uh, it should be able to pull the chain through it. Let me tweak it and see what we get. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. I took it apart and the centrifugal clutch had oil in it, so it wasn't grabbing. So I degreased it, cleaned it up real good, put it back on there. Let's find out what it does.
Well, uh, it does seem to cut a lot better than it did a minute ago. Um, I think it's going to do better after it uh, gets through its break in period. Uh, and I think I need to adjust the, uh, the high on it because, or the, the yeah, the high flow on the carburetor because it's not uh, developing the horsepower it should. It's supposed to be six and a half horsepower at 105 cc's. I don't think it's getting there. So I'm gonna tweak it some more and keep using it. But for this video, I'm gonna call that enough because I know it's gotten rather long. Um, right now I cannot make a recommendation on whether to buy it or not. Give me a month or two after I've used it for a while and got it uh, up to its uh, full potential. And then I might make a recommendation, but right now, uh, if, if I had it to do again, I'd probably still go ahead and do it because all the things I've had to do to it to get it to work have been really minor. The adjuster screw on the chain tensioner, I just took the screw out and uh, put it in a vise and took my Dremel tool with a cutoff wheel and deepened the slot, and now the chain tensioner screw is fine. It, it holds the screwdriver much better. Um, had to clean out the oil in the in the centrifugal clutch. You know, the thing got sh shipped overseas. Of course, they oiled every single part. You know, I just didn't think about that. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a big saw. And it's still kind of scary since there's no chain break, but I don't intend to use it for anything but uh, uh, slabbing out big logs. So, uh, really, the, the, the nose is going to be in a guard so I don't have much chance of a kickback because of the nose. Uh, I'm not too too concerned about that. But first, I've got to get the thing broke in and running right. Like I said, then I'll say whether it's worth buying or not. Uh, I may have wasted 450 bucks. I don't know. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Peace out. Have fun.